Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make my reusable dryer sheets using Dollar Tree items. Of course, you can do this using non-Dollar Tree items for those of you who don't have a Dollar Tree or don't shop at the Dollar Tree. You can definitely do this using non-Dollar Tree items, but for those of you who do shop at the Dollar Tree, you will be saving a pretty penny by making your dryer sheets reusable. So let's jump into it and let me show you how you can make dryer sheets that you can reuse over and over again. For these DIY dryer sheets, I picked up a 12 pack of these Brillo reusable wipes, some sponges, some of Dollar Tree's fabric softener, a plastic container, and this glass jar for storage. So how do you make reusable dryer sheets? I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna take and cut these reusable wipes in half. Then I'm gonna take and unfold them and cut them in half again. Leaving us with this size. This one 12 pack of reusable wipes will give you 48 reusable dryer sheets. Now I'm gonna take and fold them back in half again. I'm gonna take a clear bowl, set my wipes down in there. I'm gonna be using Dollar Tree's fabric softener and I am using the Island Fresh scent. I actually really like this scent. You can use whatever fabric softener you'd like. I'm gonna take and pour some over my dryer sheets. You don't need very much at all. Now taking the spring clamped jar that I picked up at the Dollar Tree as well, I'm gonna take my dryer sheets and I'm gonna fold them in fours. And I'm gonna place them in the jar. I filled up my jar. Now all you have to do is close it up and these are ready to use whenever you need a dryer sheet. And there's no need to worry about the wet dryer sheet. Placing it in with your wet clothes your clothes come out smelling amazing and they are static free. Alrighty, so my load is done. Let's take this out and see if we can find a dryer sheet. And there it is. There you have it, our dryer sheet, dry and smelling good and ready to be reused again. Make sure to head on over to Allie's channel this week where you can see her getting ready for her winter daddy and daughter dance. Link is in the description box below and on the end screen of this video. I picked up five two packs of sponges at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take this Tupperware container. I'm gonna place my sponges in the Tupperware container, standing up. Again, using my Dollar Tree fabric softener or whatever fabric softener it is that you'd like to use. I'm pouring about three quarters of a cup of fabric softener over the top of my sponges. Then I'm gonna take and pour some water. Place my cover on it. Give these a good shake. And when you take these out, they are ready to throw into the dryer and use as a dryer sheet. So I've got a 
load of towels in here that needs to be dried. So let's try our second method out. Alrighty, my towels are done. Let's see. Oh, and there is our sponge. It is in perfect condition, ready to be set aside and reused. Now for either one of these fabric sheets, if you wanna rinse them out or wash them with laundry soap by hand, just so they're washed, if that's what you feel you need to do, you can do that and just reuse them again with fabric softener. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today on how I make my reusable dryer sheets. These are a great alternative to the store-bought dryer sheets that are already made that you throw out and you are definitely saving some money by making your own dryer sheets. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.